Hi, this is Ryan Lutz, and this is part two of a two-part series that is a guided walkthrough of an art exhibition at the Bob Rauschenberg Gallery in Fort Myers, Florida. This exhibition is a gift in your pocket, a tribute in remembrance of Bobby Jeffries, who was Bob Rauschenberg's longtime secretary. This, these videos, both of these videos, are guided by Bob's longtime fabricator of 26 years, Lawrence Wojtek. So this is a really cool opportunity to learn about Bob Rauschenberg's work directly from um, not, as close as you can get to the horse's mouth. So I'm going to turn it over to, to Lawrence for the second portion of this two-part video series. We get into some of Bob's photographs, and Bob Bradley used to spot the photographs. Emil Frey, her husband, would print them up in the dark room, and there's always little, little spots. And at one time, Bob gave Bradley something and said, "You're the one that well, I always put on the spot." <laughs> so it's and when you when you this, say spot, can you explain what you mean by that? Well, when you when you're in the dark room and you print stuff up. It might be a piece of dust, and then there'll be a white spot. You'd have to take the, the full color or full spectrum of grays and blacks, and you would fix the spots so that it, you wouldn't see that. And that Bradley would spot almost all of Bob's photos that came from that. And this is Bob's thumbprint. After he had his stroke, he couldn't sign his name, so he would thumbprint things. This, this is hard to see. This is a Borealis. And um, the, the thing that's hard to see is that there's a horse. And you have to have a raking light to be able to see where the horse is. And actually, with this lighting, I can't see it. But the Borealis, this, there's no paint on it. Bob's silkscreen printed with varnish, acid resistant varnish, and then we had patina chemicals, and Bob would paint with the patina chemicals. I came up with that idea for Bob. I, I, one of my favorites, the Borealis. This is, a, this is a necklace that Bob made for Bradley. These parts, Bob was in Italy, at, and he was to make some gluts. He went to a scrapyard. He brought stuff back. There is an RR stamped on the bottom. My dad worked for bead chain that made those big bead chains, and I had cans of them. And so Bob had, you know, let's make something for Bradley. Bradley wore this at the National Gallery opening, which is sort of special. This is Jean Tingley, who is a good friend of Bob. Uh, Bob had, had done uh, some work with Tingley early on. Uh, Tingley did a thing in the Museum of Modern Art. It was called Homage to New York. It was a machine that destroyed itself. And they didn't know that this was going to happen. And they, the way that it, things started to burn, and Bob made a thing that threw silver dollars. It had gunpowder in it in the spring. And they had a timer, and it, it shot. It, it's, I think that museum director kind of got in trouble after that <laughs> one. This, this is Susan Weil. Bob's, um, Susan and Bob were married, and she's the mother of Christopher Rauschenberg. And she's an amazing artist too, Susan. I, I love following what she does. And Bob would collect her work through the years, so I always sort of knew what she was doing because I'd see pieces that she would get. This is kind of fun. Bob was the uh, artist of the year. He was <laughs> on the cover of Time magazine. And that's the picture that Terry Van Brunt, who was Bob's companion, Terry and Bob were the first people that I met. Terry showed me around Captiva my first day, uh, October 27th, 1982. And they, they didn't say that I got the job. They just said, we want you to weld this frame up. We want you to weld that frame up. <laughs> and so I just, started, I just started going for it. Now, this is kind of sweet. This, this used to be on the front of Bradley's little refrigerator in her office. It was near the time clock, it was near her desk, and she kept ice and stuff in it. She also kept beer 
And every once in a while, she would, I'd be leaving and she would say, have a beer with me. And she, and she knew the beers that I'd like. So we had a lot of special times just at the end of the day, sitting there having a, a something, a libation and stuff to talk about stuff. So Bob gave her the painting after the refrigerator died. I welded up a quick brass frame for it. This, the title of this piece is really sweet. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's, it has something to do with about on call or this is later on, this is a, where we vacuum laminated Saunders watercolor paper onto architectural panels. It kept it real flat and then Bob transferred his images. This are all Bob's photos. And then we put three coats of UV varnish on top of it after it was done. That's a, so it, Bradley's got work that stem the tide that, that go through the years. She was with Bob like 10 years before me. So like in the early 70s, she showed up and then she stayed. She was in that office with that typewriter <laughs> doing her stuff. These, this, this wall is an addition. It's the Lotus edition that ULAE did. And it's, it's kind of cool for me. The Lotuses were done in 2008, 7, 8, and there was near the end of Bob's life. And Bob, after he had his stroke, he had people that worked for him take photos that he would use since he, he lost the use of his right hand, which was to be in the hospital to see Bob and come in and get his hand. And he always had such a strong grip. And I took his right hand and there was nothing there. And he, I, he was crying. It's just to, but he had people that worked for him photograph and this, this is a photograph I took when I was up at Duke, dropping my daughter off to go to college. That's the same, the Duke Garden. I took these photos, it was the parking lot was being repainted at Bailey's, the grocery store. So you just kind of kept your camera with you and you shot stuff that Bob could use. And there's, he did pick stuff from his old photographs to use in these. And Kevin Podorf was the one, the assistant that was working with Bob on this series. And Bob would pick out image, and it's Kevin put the ram's head here. And, put the, and so it was, it's almost like the Matisse years, where Matisse had to use scissors because of his fingers and painting. Bob had his assistant cut things out and move things around. This, and it's very much like the runts, but um, this was an addition. You, this is the complete edition of the Lotus series. And uh, Bill, Bill Goldstein, the master printer, just wonderful. And now we're, we're getting near, this is, a, this is another edition. This is actually a ruler that's glued on which Bob liked to do additions that had additions to the, <laughs> you know, he, uh, oh, I want to put this there so that you'd have to buy, so that, uh, this is an addition of 25, so they had to buy 25 little plastic rulers to glue onto all the pieces. But sometimes it gets really complicated. This, this is a waterwork. It's, uh, the waterworks were a little bit different. You can tell the wrinkling in the paper, it's not laminated down. I kind of like that there's an age to the paper and the way that the images are taken. This is a beautiful piece. Um, this is Urban Bourbon. Now, it's got a brass frame. This is enamel on this color aluminum. So. Bob was working on, I, I suggested to Bob that he work on sheet metal back, he was doing Rocky Mexico. He brought back some stuff from Mexico and he want, and I worked for a sign painter and I, I, and I saw this and I said, Bob, you can work on sheet metal instead of paper or canvas. 
and Bob liked the idea and through the years did lots of works on all different types of metal. But this company that I found that does enamel on aluminum, they did anodized, they did gold. When Bob got the colors, it came on a chain, a bead chain, and all these little colors of metals, mirrors, blacks, golds, and Bob, and, and the, the, some of the colors were like Pepsi-Cola blue, Coca-Cola red, because industry would make stuff and they want to match the, the American products. And Bob looked at this color sample and he, he, he named the series Urban Bourbons because he was drunk on the colors. And so it, those are, and we, we bought a jump shear so that we could jump, cut the sheet metal. We would have a night of working, Bob's big table, the 12 by 24. He would do little drawings and say, put a red here, put a blue here, I want it eight foot by four feet, I want it 10 foot by 12 feet. And we would fill the table up and in a night he would do six, seven works in one night. If we were making cars, and the, the works were selling for 220000 a piece, if we were making cars, 10 a night with just like four guys. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was Camelot. It was crazy. It was the best of times. You know, these, these eyes have seen some of the best art ever, and these hands have helped make some of the best art ever. And it's not about me. It's Bob wanted to be and I could help him do that 26 years best job ever this is an addition piece um, this was done at Gemini it's from the Fodums and it, it, was, it was done um, in the late 70s and it, it seems like what people are doing now is skateboards hanging on the wall it just and Bob loved fabrics the fabrics are glued onto the panels. We've got bottle caps that are nailed onto the boards. He's got shapes. He used this auto body Ford color that he picked out to, to do the surface. And it's so Rauschenberg. It's, it's such an, a unique connection to what's on the planet and what is art. And then when this, this last painting over here that's coming up. This, this is Bradley's runt. Now Bob normally worked really, really big. Um, the, the works that he did before this were called scenarios and they were double panels and they were all, uh, it's like seven foot by ten for the scenarios. After Bob had his stroke and he broke his hip, Things, there was times where he wasn't able to work well and um, he started the series in, it was about 2002, 2003 and uh, he, he worked on runs until his end in 2008. The first one, this was a vertical, Bob from then on all the runs are horizontal. Bradley had the only vertical runt, and um, the family, uh, Bradley's family and Todd Dupre donated this runt to the Bob Rauschenberg Gallery from Bradley's collection. So this, this is going to live in Fort Myers, uh, and it will be in the Bob Rauschenberg Gallery collection. Thank you, Lawrence. What a, what a great treat to have someone with so much intimate knowledge of, of Bob's work. What a treat to have uh, you sharing this knowledge with us. So thank you. Hope everyone enjoyed these videos. This again was part two and you can watch part one if you haven't seen that yet. Have a great day. Yeah, the bench. Where was this, where was this exhibition? That was